Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with something brand new to check out with you all today. We're going to be taking a look at the Soulforge Fusion demo kits. Now this game releases in October, is an upcoming deck game. I'm a little hesitant to say TCG because I'm honestly not quite sure what to call it. The website says it is the world's first hybrid deck game where you do combine decks that are apparently algorithmically unique and you play them and you can also scan digital codes included with every deck and add it to your digital collection. So there is digital support for it, paper supports. And I will say I'm a little not sure what to think about it. Although my first impression, I haven't looked at the cards. I haven't read the rule book. I haven't done anything like that. My first impression reading about the decks being unique and things like that reminds me of Keyforge from a few years ago where you had to play with all these decks and some of them were very expensive because they were like uniquely made and things like that. And I thought honestly, in my opinion, when I saw people went nuts about it here locally for a few months and then all of a sudden it just immediately died. I don't know where it came from or where it went, but it was hot for a minute and then completely died out. Me listening to people talk about the Keyforge game, I thought it was a scam. Because I was like, you you have to play with a new deck every time. You can't reuse it. You can't build it. You just, you buy your prepackage. Either it's good or it's bad. And you buy another one. And I was like, hey, I, I, I didn't like that. Now that, of course, might not have been explained to me correctly. A lot of people seem to have fun with it. But like I said, that came and went very quickly. So I'm like, Soul Forge? Key Forge? What? And then seeing this, this deck algorithm uniqueness i was like ah this is a little weird so i'm curious for sure to try it out hopefully this can win me over because made also with richard garfield you know the creator of magic you want to put your trust in someone who's made one of the most iconic card games of all time so excited to check it out and let me read this a little more info from their website to you guys because i had no clue what this was except i'd seen it promoted on southern hobby's website a few guys have been asking about ali have you seen that new game from richard garfield and i'm like i feel like i've heard of it so soul fort fusion is the new frontier of gaming combining the best of digital games and tabletop games after a successful kickstarter in 2021 the game will hit retail stores in early fall 2022 I did see on their site that it looks like the new release date is October 13th. This revolutionary new game will be supported by robust tournaments and organized play program. But if you prefer remote play, you'll also be able to scan your deck into our database and play online in sanctioned events via tabletop simulator. So that is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. It does look like there is an official Discord server. But yeah, interesting for sure. Algorithmically generated half decks uniquely printed just for you. Fuse your decks together and explore an endless array of strategies. Level up your cards and overwhelm your foes. So tens of thousands of possible cards in the first set. Part of the fun of Soul Forge is collecting unique decks and sharing them with the community. So I see that it says unique decks, not cards. So this is definitely going to be something interesting. Let's go ahead and crack open this demo kit. Should have four different half decks. Looks like the game is a two plus player game. Ages 13 plus recommended should take about half an hour. Let's see what this demo kit has in store for us by snapping us into the corner. And yeah. Definitely interesting. It reminds me not so much of a TCG, but as it said on the site, even though I believe it was billed as a TCG when we ordered it, it's like a tabletop game instead. Of course, the organized play does lend itself to more TCG terminology. And we do have a couple play mats in here. We'll say the art looks interesting. Let's take a look at this. So it is two paper play mats with the proper settings so people know where to put their different cards. These types of play mats are very good for beginners, and especially since this game, brand spanking new, uh, definitely going to be useful. So, a little awkward how these piles are cut off on the sides. The forge pile, the banish pile, the upgrade, forge born discard, and then your deck goes here. The art is cool. I like the color scheme. Of course, that has no, no bearing on how the game plays or things like that. But so far, I'm like, oh, this is pretty. So good impression in terms of art design. So that's what the cards look like there. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. So same exact mat. Two copies of the same play mat. Paper play mat. We have some counters. I'll open that up in a little bit. Uh, Mega Gizmo. 
There's a wisp there. It looks like a ghost seahorse. It's kind of cool. Alrighty. So where, I guess, the QR codes are inside the sealed packaging. But we'll see. So no two faction decks are the same. Combine any two factions to play. Like the new magic jumpstart. Except those are not unique. There are some variants, but there's not any true unique ones. Uh, contains everything two players need to start playing. Soul Forge Fusion features over 15,000 unique cards generated by a state-of-the-art algorithm. So yeah, it's four unique faction decks of 32 cards each. So those are these. The two game boards, 12 minion cards, and the 25 minion trackers. Interestingly enough, it does not include a rule book inside, but it does say find out more on soulforgefusion.com, where you can scan that QR code. I suppose that would take you there. Let's take a look at these minion cards. So they're like two-sided tokens, it reminds me of. Minion. Oh, that's cute. The card design is interesting. I like it. It's nothing spectacular to me. Like, it doesn't jump out to me as anything iconic necessarily to start, but this is my first time looking at it. It's a nice design, nothing crazy. So this is the minion card. Still liking the art so far, still liking the art. Let's take a look at our little token counter, or our minion counters. Oh, little tiny pieces. I'm assuming these are used for the fusing. Looks like that symbol there inside Soulforge. It's a logo. These are neat. A few different colors. Interesting. I like that these are square. <laughs> Not sure what bearing that has on the actual gameplay, but I like the shape. I like the feel of these. These feel cool. The cards feel like normal cards, except maybe a bit more waxy. Like, maybe thinner, too. You know what? I take it back. You know what? These don't feel like normal cards. They feel very thin and more waxy than I was expecting. They have the same texture of the Star Wars Destiny game. If you guys ever, I never played it. It was a dice card game. It has the same feel as those cards, like the finish, but they're thinner than the, they're thinner, I would say. At least they feel to the touch thinner than Flesh and Blood Magic Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's a little interesting. Just whoever makes that card stock. Let's take a look at these algorithmically crafted unique decks. All right. I will say the fonts here on the cards, it looks a little awkward, unnecessary. <laughs> the actual card text looks like the same fonts Although smaller, the same font used on magic cards. It's the text at the bottom, the flavor text, that looks a little awkward. But the art is neat. I like the art on the dinosaurs and the mages. I like that there is flavor text for the cards. I wish that it was in its own little box, perhaps. These cards look cool. I saw these on the website. These look interesting. So, scan to claim. Here's a unique deck here. Uh, free decks for you guys watching. So, Nova the Aggravating Flowing Flock. Unique deck number 61,674 is a Kickstarter set. The power of the Soul Forge is waning. It will not sustain us. We must return to the surface. Interesting. So this will whoever scans this and claims it will have their own digital version of this unique deck that we're looking at here. I like that aspect. I appreciate that you can also use it online. I appreciate that there is the online support as well through Tabletop Simulator. I think that is neat. It's a platform I've heard a lot about. I know that a lot of people replicate games that way. I know people will use that to meet and play Commander. People I've heard play Y Shores through Tabletop Simulator. That's not the right 
Uh, no, this was sealed. That one didn't have the band around it. So I do appreciate that. I like that they are going for digital and physical support. So that I do appreciate. Still hung up on the every deck is unique. You got to combine them. But I like that you can collect them and you can uh, play. You can combine them with other decks. It's not like a one-time use. You use it, go buy a new deck kind of deal. So that is interesting. I'll just be going through and I guess giving my commentary thoughts on things that I'm looking at. Thoughts on the card design. But I do appreciate... I do appreciate the digital versions. I do think this will be pretty popular to start. I think a lot of people are just going to be curious to check out something here until year 2022 from Richard Garfield. I think that'll be a big draw to it. It's not sure how it plays. If any of you all have tried this out, perhaps participated in the Kickstarter, let me know your initial thoughts on it because I have not interacted with anyone that has been able to give me that kind of feedback on Soulforge. I will say the cards do have a look like something I would expect to be playing on a digital game. Like these cards look like they are just actual physical printouts of digital cards, which makes sense knowing that that is the case. That is very interesting. I do like these runes on the borders. I don't know, something about the font used for the flavor text to me, though, looks weird. I don't know how to describe it. It just looks weird floating there at the bottom. I do appreciate how the deck name is on the bottom of the cards. Uh, just so that you know what deck it came from. Since you're combining multiple half decks together to be able to pull out, to be like, oh, I need my Flowstone Brigade deck cards. Be like, I don't remember what they were. You do have the list here, but you also have it printed so you know to pull them out. So that is that is neat as well. Definitely an interesting idea. I'm curious as to how popular it would be. Ooh, that's cool. I like this. That's neat. Yeah, also let me know if this is something you'd like for us to carry here at Titan. This would not be something we would be able to open because of those digital codes that those of you out there have claimed your two out of four decks so far. So that is something that we not be able to do breaks on, but in store locally signing up to run events here in the Tampa Bay area, if that is something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments down below. I know of course we have a worldwide audience, not just a local audience, but those of you that are local, if you're watching this, let us know, send us feedback. Why will you not open? All right, tiny scissors, uh, tiny knife. Let's go, let's go. Let me know what you guys think, cause I, I'm not sure. I will say it's growing on me. I like the digital support for it as well. I like that the decks are reusable, although they are unique. The way it says created by an algorithm to me is kind of weird, but I am just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm technology adverse. I mean, this this pack is hateful right now. I don't understand why it won't open. Ah, there we go. I don't know. It's definitely an interesting concept. Somewhat similar to what I imagine Keyforge was like, but fixing the things I did not like about Keyforge. So that is just what my mind goes to. The name Soulforge and Keyforge sounds similar. And also the unique deck part also is what brings that connection together. But of course, very different. I do not believe there is any online support for that. So I'm curious to see how well this is received and what you guys think about it. This could be fun, something to try out, right? If you just grab a couple decks and then play. That's what I like about the Jumpstart format for Magic. Although the Dominaria Jumpstart release was significantly weaker than the original. I'm looking forward to the regular jumpstart release towards the end of the year. So this is 59,339. Now I wonder, is like deck number one like super sought after? You would think so just because it's the first deck. Iron Beard tore his hammer from the head of the dragon. What challenges were left in this world? 
This art card here is pretty neat. I like that. I like that. That looks cool. So instead of having a minion token, there's a this this art card here. It is definitely interesting to look at. So I do like that it has the features of Jumpstart. I like that in terms of playability, you just pick up two, you combine them and go. I do like that you can have your digital support. Not sure how to feel about the game itself yet. I haven't tried it. It could be interesting. I'm still hesitant. Honestly, I still feel hesitant. But that's just my own reservations about a game like this because I had that negative impression of something that in my mind rings as similar. So really curious as to your guys' thoughts. I will say I don't like this packaging. I keep expecting there to be like one of those little pull tabs that unravels it, but the first two are easier to open. These with the, the cool art cards have not been easy. This one is the Regiment of the Muttering Skins. Why does your skin mutter? Oh, she's cute. We're in grave danger. All right. The art is neat. I wish that there was some sort of notation that we knew who created it. Looking at it, to me, it looks like it was mostly digital art. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm a big fan of digital art, but it does seem like it's more digital based. If that is incorrect, let me know. Uh, that's why I, something I do like about Magic, Flesh and Blood cards and Pokemon is it has the artist on the card. Yu-Gi-Oh does not. I wish they did, but Yu-Gi-Oh does not have the artists on the card. And then these do not have either. So unique deck, 62,428. It's a lot of decks. It's a lot of decks. So definitely interesting. Is it interesting enough for me to try it? If you guys recommend it to me, I'll try it out. I, it doesn't seem like something I'd be too intense on trying out. Seems like it could be fun. I'll let you guys tell me your thoughts on it down below. Really curious, so please, 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 if you have any thoughts, whether it's about the art style, about the card design, do you think the font looks weird like I do? Anything at all, let me know. I really want you guys to interact with me on this video because I have a lot of questions. And I don't know if you guys have questions. And we can all ask our questions together, see if we can learn a bit more about this game. Since it does seem to be fully releasing next month, this is just the first release with that demo kit. So, we'll see. We'll see. Do you guys believe in Richard Garfield's vision for Soulforge Fusion? Let me know down below. I do like the QR codes, although not all phones have QR code readers. Sometimes you do have to download them. Sometimes it's just already integrated in your camera. But I do appreciate that. And I do really like that you have the physical cards and you get the digital copies so you can play how you want. It's like me. I, I tend to listen to CD. I like collecting CDs. I like physically having them, and then I rip the CDs onto the computer and I listen to them that way. I just like having something tangible. So I like that it is a digital game that you could play physically, but if you want to just sit at home and do it on Tabletop Simulator, they support that, and you can have your cards that you have in hand online too. So I really like that. That to me, in the positive common uh, column. The arts, I do like the arts. Not all of it is to my taste. Some like the zombie cards are a little too like, yeah, for me, but I'm not really big on zombies. They creep me out. Uh, I do like the more nature and human designs. I'm curious. Like I said, I don't know how curious though. So let me know your guys' suggestions, thoughts, comments, questions, anything at all in the comments section down below. Rest of our videos today, we're going to be going into physical, physical cards. We're going to be checking out some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Megatons as well as some Y Shorts. Yu-Gi-Oh! has, of course, an online components. They don't have code cards to get digital packs or you can't play your physical card. You can't just be like, I have this card, let's play it online. Which is something that would always, always, I see, suggested that it would be cool if Konami could do something like that, but they never do. And then White Shorts has no digital card game because of licensing issues. They're based off of real-life animes and video games, so. But I know people have managed to play Weiss in Tabletop Simulator. So. We'll be checking those out up next, but this is our only, like, new preview of the day. 
I have a lot of questions, so if you guys could help, that'd be greatly appreciated. But yes, if y'all enjoyed this video, I know I just did this motion, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button. Comments for me, anything at all, please leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you'd also like to roast me for my opinion on Keyforge, go for it. Like, I never understood the draw of the game. I just, I just never got, I just never understood it. I just, I don't know. This does seem like something I would like more than Keyforge. You do get to use your decks more than once. They're just all unique, though. So. It is interesting. Like I said, I don't, know, I don't know if I'll try it, but it seems interesting. But yeah, that does do it for me here in this video. Before I get on out of here, I do, of course, as always, have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports, Bossman, and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Sultari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Jerry Atcha Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Zen, Touchdown on Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. Thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. Again, congrats to whoever was able to claim the decks for their digital collections. And let me know your thoughts on Soul Forge Fusion down below. I am curious. I'm curious. Anything with Richard Garfield's name attached to it, of course, draws interest. I am wondering how long this will last, if it's going to be a flash in the pan like Keyforge was, or, I mean, if through Kickstarter it garnered enough supports and having the digital components, I think that'll keep it around for a decent time. I just don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you make new sets for Keyforge? How, how does stuff like that work? We'll, we'll figure it out together. But that does do it here for it, or not Keyforge, Soulforge. That does do it for me here in this first impression, first look, first questions that I have for this game. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next video. Bye!